What's up everybody? Quick little update. Uh, no live show today and not next week either. Please uh, check the website, go to rwgresearch.com and click on the Justin TV link up in the top. You'll see a countdown timer. That is going to be my scheduled next live show and that's where it's always going to be. So watch that timer if you guys really want to know how to catch me live. That's going to be your best option. I'll try to get that timer reset right after the next show and um, that will inform you when I'm going to be doing my next show. So I wanted to show you something real quick. Back to the uh, other type of gas processor. This will be uh, breaking down the iron, nickel, or cobalt into iron, nickel, or cobalt ions. All right. So um, as you know before, this particular device, I used something similar to this. And I had it uh, sitting inside my chamber. Well, I thought this was uh, copper. It's not. It's uh, so it's an iron, and it's just plated with copper, so that's not going to work for me. So what I did is um, mm -hmm. I've taken this chamber, and let's see if I can turn the light on. I made it a little bit better. I've taken this chamber. I'm using my phone, so sorry about the footage quality. Taking taking this chamber, and uh, I've made uh, some pieces here that fit together. And um, this was just a, a, an old fitting that I turned down and turned it into like a collar. You might be able to buy a brass collar or a stainless steel collar, but in my um, uh, work here, I just went ahead and made one. Um, the back side of this, again, is these, uh, these uh, fittings that are for air, like an air fitting. And what I've done is uh, drilled a hole in the bottom and then uh, tapped it out to get that bolt to fit in there. And then I've just got a, a brass bolt with two jam nuts, one on the bottom and one on the top. And then I TIG welded a nut to that fitting that I made to hold my piece. And then uh, basically this is just a, a set screw right here. And I can put my two pieces in here and get them gapped just right. And I can introduce my electricity back here, high voltage. And uh, yeah. So if you guys never seen that before, there's some old videos of some really interesting things capacitor blowing up and stuff and uh, it's pretty interesting um, so that's my other gas processor and I'll probably update my web page with a few pictures um, I'll put different fittings on here so I can run a regular 3 8 line in there I used to have this PEX I built an EPG out of PEX and uh, so I had this PEX at one time but anyway um, the power supply I would like to be using with this is this one here it's an AC or, I'm sorry it's a DC uh, high voltage power supply. Uh, Blaine has sent the other one out. Um, he's letting me borrow both of them and a few other things uh, until he ever needs them back. Kind of like free storage, except I'm going to use it. <laughs> but uh, that's 10,000 volts DC. That's what I've been using for the gas gun. And uh, I would like to be using DC for this, but I'm thinking it's going to have to be high amperage, high voltage DC. So I may need some sort of a TIG welder or a uh, an arc welder that I could uh, get that particular type of voltage and uh, amperage going in this. Now, unfortunately, I don't want to run too much amperage into this because of the way it's built. It's on plastic. Uh, maybe I can put some ceramic insulators and uh, be okay, but even that, the heat and stuff is going to start tearing up my plastic. You can see right here it got a little hot at one point in time. All right, uh, here's the other power supply. This is the DC supply, or excuse me, the AC supply. Got my head mixed up today. Uh, this is the AC supply. It's a, it's a 12,000 volt neon sign transformer plugged into a uh, two capacitors. Uh, the only two I have left. The other one's exploded, which uh, I'll put a link in that video. or in, in, I'll put a link to that video in this description, the one that blew up. Pretty interesting. But other than that, uh, that's it. Um, for us with rwgresearch.com, again, the live show information is always on the website. Check out that timer that's going to give you your best option. People have been asking me, what's the best way I can tell if you're going live? That's going to be it. All right? Have a good day. Peace and love, you guys. Um, I'll see you in a while. No idea what's going on. See you. Nah.